Hey you guys, today I'm going to be going over what iPhone secret codes are and how to use them. This is iPhone specific, so have this device on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So if you don't know what iPhone secret codes are, they're known as Unstructured Supplementary Service Data Codes, also known as USSD codes. These are essentially just shortcuts that you enter to get um, unique settings and functions within the device. Before the settings app on the iPhone got more advanced today, these secret access codes were a lot more were a lot more popular and helpful. Now, however, you can kind of do all of these things within the settings app, but these secret codes are really helpful to know and you may be able to discover some fun capabilities or access special information faster. Some examples of uh, the things that you can access with these codes are checking the IMEI of your phone, um, changing call forwarding settings, seeing advanced network details, and much more. As I said before, you can do this in your settings app now, but um, these secret codes can be even faster if you want to access this. Using these secret codes is super easy so long as you know the codes. So essentially all you're going to do is use your um, phone app and go into the keypad. You're going to type in that code and some codes um, you need to press call in order to access uh, these shortcuts. Uh, whereas other ones, once you enter them, it's going to automatically take you there. So like I said before, using the codes is super easy. It takes like three seconds. Um, the difficult part is knowing the codes and finding them. So we've compiled a list of all of the most helpful and popular codes that you can use. Um, and then by watching this video, you'll have them in your back pocket. You can write them down or go back to this video to find them again. To check your IMEI, um, the code for this is going to be star pound zero six pound. Um, and it's going to immediately take me to this page here, to my device information. If you wanted to keep this information, you can screenshot it so that you can access it later. Otherwise, you can always use this code again. If you're based in the USA and you wanted to call somebody without using your caller ID, you would simply add star six seven and then enter the number that you'd like to call. If you're outside of the USA and you wanted to do that same thing, you would use star three one pound and then you would also enter the number you'd like to call. If you wanted to see detailed information about the network that you're using, the code is star 3001 pound 1235 pound followed by another star. And like I said, if it doesn't take you here automatically, you'll select the call button and then it's gonna bring you right to your service information or your network information. It may take a minute to load everything, uh, once it's loaded, you can select everything. You can go in and look to access the call waiting settings. Um, it's going to be star pound four three pound. Um, and then we'll hit that call button. It's going to bring up all of this information here um, and you can go over it. Once you're finished, you'll just select dismiss. If you want to take a look at your call forwarding status, it's going to be star pound two one pound. We'll select the call button here and it's going to load everything for us. And you can go in to your call forwarding status and go through all of these. And then just select dismiss when you're finished. To take a look at your block number settings. You'll go star pound three, three pound. Select that call button. It's gonna load everything here and it's gonna go over all of your blocked call settings. If you would like to forward calls to another number, um, you would just simply do star two one followed by the phone number and you'll end in a pound. If you want to force show your caller ID when you call somebody, you'll do pound eight two followed by the phone number you'd like to call. And if you want to launch field test mode, you're going to type three zero zero one pound one two three four five followed by another pound. And then you'll select that call button once again. If you'd like to access how many missed calls you have, it will be star pound six one pound and then you'll select that call button here you can access all of your missed calls if you want to block any incoming calls you will use star three three star followed by the sim card number and pound if you want to go back and unblock incoming calls you're going to type pound three three star followed by sim card pin um, and end it with pound this is going to unblock all of those incoming calls. If you want to check your alert system status, it's going to be star five zero zero 
five star two five three seven one pound it's going to allow those test alerts if you'd like to disable your alert system status it's going to be star five zero zero five star two five three seven zero pound and it's going to disable those for you if you'd like to check um, traffic information without any internet you're going to type 511 and call if you'd like to check your prepaid account balance we'll type star 777 pound if your last called number is not subscribed then you won't have any information here if you'd like to look at your postpaid account balance it will be star 225 pound you'll select call and it'll give you all of this information here. You have the option to reply or dismiss. And if you'd like to check your data plan status, it's going to be star 646 pound. As I mentioned before, um, your iPhone settings are much more advanced now, so you can do most of this in your settings. That also means that some of these codes may be outdated and might not work for you. If that's the case, you can find out how to do these exact same things within your settings. A frequently asked question would be whether you can undo these secret codes that you've enabled um, and the answer is that you can't actually undo them. So if there's certain codes that you don't even remember that you've enabled, um, your best bet would be to factory reset your iPhone so that everything is back to its uh, factory settings. If you don't know how to do a factory reset, you're just going to launch your settings and scroll down to general. Then at the very bottom, you'll find the transfer or reset iPhone and you can select reset and reset all your settings. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found all of these codes helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video.